This theory of evolution was coined by Lehman and Bellady in 1974. The laws describe a balance between forces driving new developments on one hand and forces that slow down progress on the other hand. Lehman's determination to observe the continuous software modifications and their long-term effects earned him the nickname the father of software evolution. Lehman's law of software evolution states that software systems must grow exponentially. This is highlighted by the regular addition of modified features which satisfy either new functional or new non-functional requirements. In open source software systems, this phenomena is showcased as the frequent release of new versions of one product. Each release results in the increase of system size and complexity. As has been stated by Lehman and widely observed by others, In the software evolution process, both the complexity and the size of the product will increase with time. However, the quality change of a software product is unknown, or at least not conclusive. Upon observing that most softwares are subject to modification in the course of their functioning, Lehman and Bellady established this law to demonstrate that the changes they undergo will typically obey or must obey in order for the software to survive. Software systems must modify so that they can adapt to new functional and non-functional requirements. According to Lehman's law of software evolution, the size and the complexity of a software system will continually increase in its lifetime, and on the other hand, the quality of a software system will decrease unless it is rigorously maintained and modified. There is no doubt in the fact that quality is one of the most important measurements of a software product. However, little research has been done to empirically study the evolution of software quality, especially the continually evolving and frequently releasing software systems. The evolution of software to maintain its performance and usefulness over time occurs in successful software development processes. The law evaluates Lehman's law in the context of two companies' real-world software product line projects to gain useful insights about the evolution process. The evolution of a single system is a method which deals with the modification of a single product. Lehman's law of software evolution was mostly studied within this type of system. The outcomes show that these single systems evolve according to Lehman's law of software evolution over time. In his paper Programs Life Cycles and Laws of Software Evolution, Lehman distinguished between three different types of systems. S-type systems. In this type of system, the programming is formulated under the exact specification of what that system can do. P-type systems. These systems are programmed to implement certain procedures that entirely determine what the system can do. E-type systems. These systems are programmed to perform certain real-world activities namely how it should behave is strongly linked to the environment in which it runs. Such a program needs to adapt to varying requirements and circumstances in that environment. E systems can be continually adapted and as they do their complexity increases unless work is done to maintain or reduce it. Lehman's law of software evolution especially of those on software size and complexity have been widely validated that's all for this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel explified for more fun videos